So here we are in our desktop opening uh, Fusion 360 for the main reason that I do not like the design of my toothbrush case. It's hard to close and it collects waters and grimes. So we're here to make a design that will fit to my liking. So we'll start sketching a circle that is uh, about 30.5 millimeter and then we need to extrude this at around 170 millimeter high and then from here we need to sketch again on top we need to offset this at around 2 millimeter this is for the sliding lock mechanism we need to cut this into half for us to extrude some parts of it So you can just follow along if you want to design this model that I'm making. Then we need to make a sketch or circle on top of it. We will extrude this again uh, later on. Then we're making a 45 degree line across this because we need to uh, divide this arc that uh, we have made that is a notch that we have made so as you can see here we'll just extrude some parts of it leaving the other part to be um, open let's do this at around three millimeter and we need to do the bottom part also we need to round this shape at about 15 millimeters And then we will use the shell command at uh, 0.8 millimeter and here because uh, we don't want this to be open we need to make a holes at the bottom of it for the reason that uh, we don't want water to be, to be always inside this case so we will be making a circle at a 4mm in diameter and then we'll extrude this to make a hole at the bottom at around 10mm uh, or anything that you like as long as there's a hole there Then the next thing that we need to do is to make a pattern we need to select this sketch and then the axis then we change the numbers of holes to six so that's it this is the first model that we make and then we need to model again also the cap so we make another circle that is uh, 31 millimeter in diameter this will be bigger than the case of course and then we need to extrude this at 30 millimeter the same as the case we need to sketch this also to make a lo the locking mechanism mm -hmm. 
we need to offset that at two millimeter and then we need to cut the circle into four and then we need to make a 45 degree uh, line across it doesn't matter which side you'll be making as long as you can make a notch for it to lock then you can just follow along on the selection that I'm making here then we need to extrude this of course to 3 millimeter and then we need to sketch a circle again same size as uh, what we are making and then we need to extrude this the, the whole circle to 10.8 millimeter and then we need to round the bottom also at 15 millimeter then the last thing we need to do is to uh, make a shell for this at 0.8 millimeter and of course there will be shelling outside not inside because if you do it inside it may not fit later on when you print it okay the next thing that we need to do here is to make of course the circle again to make a hole on top of it finish this and then we'll extrude this at 10 millimeter and then we'll make a pattern circular pattern and then click the sketch and the axis also and then make this into uh, six numbers of circle circles or holes but I think there's something wrong wrong on the, the sketch so you can see there's, there's some something there so what I need to do is to lower down the sketch a bit because I think the whole yeah there's, there's something there we need to move this a little bit below so that the whole circle will be open okay the top the cap is finished just need to move a bit on top of it it doesn't matter because later on in Cura you just uh, can adjust this I made this to separate files because I want to print it in uh, separate files also in Cura so just need to save this and export this in the stale files and we need to open this in uh, Cura of course and make some adjustment in the settings so I printed it this uh, models upside down and make the supports and let's see the time lapse So here is our finished toothbrush case and I'm happy with the outcome. Now I can change my old case. By the way, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified every time I upload new video. And if you have questions, comments or suggestions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. See you guys next week. As always, 
keep creating. Cheers.